welcome back to the channel guys welcome back to the another video and many people out there like me are waiting for an update and that update is ios 26.0.1 because that is a very important update and that will be you know doing a lot of stuff but so far while i'm shooting this video as you can see i'm checking the update but there is no software update and this is actually very 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 disappointing that why there is no software update this software update was supposed to come this week but you know there is no update yet now maybe it is gonna come next week but i do have like double thoughts that maybe it is not coming this week so if i talk about maybe it is coming next week although we still have one more day like maybe 26th of september can be the day when we can expect to see i was 26.0.1 but now the chances are very very low and i do believe the next week is going where we you know we can expect the update so that is going to be hopefully 29th of september or 30th of september so these two days are the days where i am expecting i was 26.0.1 and that update will be fixing a lot of lot of stuff now while that update will be fixing a lot of stuff one main issue is definitely the battery draining now many people are facing battery draining people are not enjoying the battery battery life is not that good with the ios 26 although apple did you know talk about that that they say that battery will get better in a couple of days as this is a really big update and you know a lot of stuff is going in the background and that is actually true in early stages of ios 26.0 battery life was not good but now it seems battery life is getting better but still for some people battery life is not that good and they need a solution so if i talk about the solution well there are few things that you can do to improve the battery life and definitely one of them um, i'm going to talk about some of the things that you can do so let's begin a very first one now the first of all what you can do is while you are going bed and you're gonna sleep you can put your device on low power mode and you know it is like a kind of a hard thing to put your load or device on low power mode every single day you might forget to do that so you can also automate the low power mode basically what low power mode does it has a lot to you know stop the battery draining as most of the stuff that is going in the background it stops that so low power mode is a very powerful thing that can help to stop the battery draining and you can also automate the low power mode for that what you need to do is get into shortcut app get into automation tap on this plus button and choose time of the day now here, over here you need to choose the time when you like to go to bed for example you like to go to bed at 10 45 pm and that's daily run immediately as you can see next and from here create a new shortcut search low power mode something like this set low power mode turn low power mode on and boom and every day like 10 45 pm low power mode will turn on and you can also make an automation for the low power mode to turn off and you can do by same just need to select the you know, just need to change the time whenever you wake up so this way you can automate the low power mode and can help to stop the overnight um battery draining also when battery draining also happens when you use bad accessories like bad chargers bad data cables so it is very important for you to use good chargers good data cables uh, use chargers or data cables that are certified by apple there are a lot of companies that are certified by the apple who pr that make really good products so try to use good stuff for your iphone you buy iphone a very expensive device but you know you use cheap chargers that will definitely destroy the battery life so try to use good chargers now here are some settings that you can also do to improve the um, battery life and stop the overnight battery draining and that can be let's start with the very first one well get into the settings and from into the settings get into the um sound no don't go to sound aseptics go all the way down into the privacy and security go into the location now location is a very useful thing and you know it is important and location sensor uses battery life a lot and most people you know choose location settings on maybe always like there are some apps that offer always location setting for example if i go over here there is an always option over here 
now many people choose this one never choose always option it is always better to choose while using the app as you can see if you see if you notice every other app is on pretty much while using or on never i don't use always because that will be consuming a lot of battery life and then go to the system services go all the way down into the product improvement from here turn this off turn this off and turn this off too now this is going to help a lot to save the battery life and it is also going to help to stop the battery draining a really 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 useful setting now once you do this go all the way down over here and find a um, motion and fitness so over here if you don't use your iphone to track steps and all that just turn this fitness tracking off because whenever this is on it is always you know running in the background at it is tracking your steps and all that so it can consume a lot of battery life and you know drain a lot of battery life so just turn this off it can be really really helpful for you guys now go back from here and once you are in i'm um, go back again here go back to the uh, journal go over here and get into the background app refresh now over here you can turn on turn off the background app refresh for certain apps so first of all what you need to do is you need to get into the battery stats and see which app is consuming lot of battery life in the background and once you able to know that just turn that off app off from the background for example maybe apple tv is you know just example taking lot of storage a lot of battery life in the background just turn it off now don't turn off the apps that are crucial for example whatsapp or phone app or something like that just turn off the apps that are not that important and it will help a lot to save the battery life it will help a lot to stop the battery trading so yeah these are some of the things that you can do to improve the battery life and stop the battery draining well i also want to talk about ios 26.1 beta 1 so far that update is going good um in terms of battery life i'm not happy with the battery life it's a decent battery life but in terms of performance that update is giving actually a really really good performance um it it actually gave me highest ever geekbench score which was amazing so yeah just a little update i want to tell you guys about the ios 26.1 beta 1 so far i talk about ios 26.0.1 I also talk about the release date of iOS 26.011, and also I talk about some of the issues that people are facing. Along with that, I talk about some solution that you can do to fix the battery draining on your device. And in the end, I talk about the iOS 26.1 beta one. Now, that's all from this video. If you enjoy this video, let me know in the comment section below. If you have any sort of question, let me know in the comment section below. and definitely i will be coming up with the more videos i will be talking about more stuff in upcoming videos once i was told a 6.0.1 will come out definitely i will be making a video about that too well that's all from this video and i hope to catch you guys in my next video until that take care peace out